Today, we'll be looking at how to create a shooting schedule. There are two ways to do this in Yamdu. We can import a schedule or simply create a new one from scratch, which is what we'll be taking a look at today. So we can start by selecting the create a shooting schedule scenario option. Then in the pop-up window, we can give it a name, a start date, and select the visibility option as to who is allowed to view the schedule. In the additional settings, we can further add strips to the strip board, add day breaks, or add shooting phases. Lastly, we can always add some additional notes to the schedule if need be. And once the schedule is created, we'll get a notification about creating auto day breaks and where to find the options to do so. Now, we'll actually be in the shooting schedule's edit mode, making things easier for us to change as we go. For instance, we'll be able to add day breaks, banners, and strips. We can also search the schedule, reorder the strips, um, which we can do in three categories and using multiple options such as the environment, sets, scene numbers, and even by the number of script pages. Then, just as the notification informed us earlier, we can add auto day breaks based on the number of script pages, the estimated time, or by the schedule duration. And moving on, selecting to show any unscheduled items will open a side column and it's going to reveal any scenes, shots, or content items that were not included in the schedule. The select columns option will allow us to show which columns are displayed in the schedule from the general category to department related and shot related categories. And the quick functions will give us some additional options to edit the settings, um, show strips in script order, recover older versions of the schedule, show comments, and download the schedule in different file formats. And it even gives us the option to download the schedule for showbiz budgeting. Once we hit save, we'll have the option to export the schedule as a PDF. And there are multiple export options, which we can do by scene ID, set, units, shooting day, and even the day out of days. Additional PDF display options will let us include background colors, strip colors, and include or omit the scene synopsis, list the characters on the first page of the export, all the way down to the shooting phase view modes. Next are more options to show which columns to include in the export from the general category to department related and shot related categories. Then we can filter the export to include or omit the time, collections, and elements. And let's give it a title before we export the schedule. And once that's done, we can also save the export settings. Next to the shooting phase name are the options to edit the shooting phase start date, assign a unit to the entire shooting phase, or delete the shooting phase altogether. We can also enter or edit the scheduled filming time, scene number, estimated time on screen, number of script pages, environment, set, synopsis, unit, characters, extras, and any other column items we've selected to include right from the stripboard. And as always, the quick function offers additional options to edit the strip, duplicate it, split the strip in two, show and tag the screenplay, add a daybreak, banner, or new strip after the current strip, or to remove the strip entirely. We can add a banner to the schedule and we'll see that it already has some pre-selected options, or we can create our own custom banner. And we can simply drag and drop to rearrange the strips, uh, day breaks, and banners. Adding a scheduled time to the banner will automatically update the total scheduled time. We can also add additional shooting phases, give it a name, and drag and drop the strips, add day breaks and banners to the new shooting phase, or create new ones. And we'll have the same options as the first shooting phase. Also, there isn't any limit to the number of shooting phases we can add. Back in the view mode, we can search the schedule, export it, mark it to our dashboard, select which columns are visible, and of course, the quick functions will have additional options similar to the ones in the edit mode. And we can also filter the schedule by time. 
In the main shooting schedule page, we can now see our shooting schedule. And since this is the first draft shooting schedule, we'll get a message telling us that we have no active shooting schedules at the moment. To turn our draft into an active schedule, we simply need to select the check mark. Or the quick functions will also give us the option to mark the schedule as completed, unmark it as an active scenario and back into a draft, edit the visibility of the schedule, duplicate the schedule or delete it entirely. And that was how to create a shooting schedule in Yamdu. Check out our other tutorials for an in-depth look at more features.